I am a laboratory animal technician, an LAT. I work with the researchers and I work with the animals. We work primarily with rats and mice here. My primary responsibility is the animal health. And this is where we do our behavior testing. Another big aspect of my job is working in the behavioral phenotyping facility, which is essentially characterizing different qualities in animal behavior. When I finished high school, I attended a four-year university and attained a four-year animal science degree. You learn the foundation, you learn the, the background science, you take your biology and your chemistry and your anatomy, which arms you with the knowledge you need to do this job. But most of the equipment that I operate and most of the actual procedures that I perform now I've learned from my coworkers, from people that have many years of experience. You don't have to have a four-year degree. There's a lot of people in this field that have high school diplomas and there's actually several certification courses that you can take. The ALAT, the LAT, and the LATG are three different tests that you can take once you acquire a certain amount of experience um, to further your education. Most people that start in this field do start out at the animal room level I and mean, that's a very common path for people to take within this field. And they generally start working directly with the animals and that means caring for them, that means watering them and feeding them, changing their cages, moving them around. Many technicians will advance once they've, they've done that for a while. The laboratory animal technician also works with the investigator carry out the specific job requirements. Selection of anesthesia will be important to this because it can't... And then the laboratory animal technologist does even more technologically demanding duties, including surgery, um, imaging with ultrasound. An LAT may work at a government research facility, at a private biomedical company or a university. To evaluate the effect on cage size and breeding efficacy. I grew up with a lot of animals. Um, we had lots of pets and it was natural for me to want to work in a veterinary clinic when I was in high school. I worked in the kennel and did that for a number of years and then once I went to college I had an opportunity to work in the laboratory animal field and it, it appealed to me more so than working in a, in a dog and cat clinic. I really felt like my role here as a laboratory animal technician was very important. The detail, the day-to-day -day work that sometimes you feel a little overwhelmed and ultimately there is a, a goal at the end and it's getting that data exhibits the results you were looking for, giving it to the investigators so that they can in turn publish these papers that ultimately lead to new discoveries.